Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this lesson. So this lesson is, um, the lesson objective is wrong. It's about trapezoids. Um, and my isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid with the legs that are congruent. Then there's a mid-segment of a trapezoid. Um, and then just so that you guys can see, like, what's a kite, what's a quadrilateral, what's a parallelogram, what's a rhombus. Um, and then... If um, there's some theorems like it, if the trapezoid is isosceles, then the base angles are congruent. Um, again, here, I don't know why this is all colored. Um, isosceles trapezoid and um, the diagonals uh, are equal to each other. And then the mid-segment, that goes back to your uh, mid-segment um, theorem that we did before. Um, but now it's only different because now you have the addition of um, side lengths. So it is RA plus TP gives you um, MN when you divide it by 2. And then a kite. Um, this is perpendicular here. So if I'm looking to... Um, Find the measures of the numbered angles. So um, measure of angle 1 is equal to 77 because it's an isosceles trapezoid. And then um, measure of angle 3 is equal to 103 um, because 3 plus... 77 is equal to 180. Same side interior. And then uh, measure of angle 2, oops, is equal to 103. Because again, it's an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, and then we're going to use the mid-segment idea. So that means that 3x plus 5, which is in the middle, is equal to 1 half times 4 plus 7x plus 4. So then 3x plus 5 is equal to 1 half. Um, 7x plus 8, multiply both sides by 2, so I get 6x plus 10 is equal to 7x plus 8. Negative x is equal to negative 2, so x is equal to 2. I wanted the length of e to f, which is 3x plus 5, so this is 3 times 2 plus 5, which is 11. Okay, and then I got to write a proof, of course. Um, so I have an isosceles trapezoid with A, B is congruent to C, D. Okay, so these side lengths are congruent to each other. And I want to prove that the diagonals are congruent. So I can't use the theorem that I'm trying to prove. So statements, reasons. So the first thing is A, B, C, D is an isosceles trapezoid with AB is congruent to DC. And that is given. And what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try to use, um, because um, I am trying to prove diagonals are congruent, I'm looking at, maybe I should erase this so I can get a clearer picture. Um, what I'm looking at is I'm looking at triangle B, A, maybe I should do it center, um, B, A, D is going to be congruent to um, C, D, A. So that's what I'm trying to show is that um, those two triangles are congruent so that I can prove the diagonals are congruent by CBCDC. So going back, um, the second thing I'm going to do is say that angle oops, BAD, which is here, is congruent to angle uh, CDA. Is that right? Yeah, CDA. Um, and that is a definition of an isosceles trapezoid. Um, or you could say um, base angles of an isosceles trapezoid 
are congruent. And then three, AD is congruent to itself, which is reflexive. And then the triangles are congruent. So triangle BAD is congruent to triangle C. I wrote C. I said C and I wrote down D. CDA by getting ahead on my numbers, side angle side, which makes AC congruent to BD by CBCTC. And that is it for this lesson.